Hi, welcome to the Reef Tap Back Eye News, episode 12. Welcome to Family Night. In this edition of the iNews, we're going to be catching up with the October DCS and the IPHC that just graduated. We're going to be catching up with Justin to get an update on Voice for the Voiceless and our upcoming Voice for the Dark concert. And we're also going to be catching up with our January DTS who just returned from a camping trip. But first of all, we're going to catch up with our School of Music and Missions. We're watching now for hand grenades and dodging bullets of my sweat. incredibly talented and every single song that you guys are hearing is all original so they are doing no covers so Because now, three weeks, God's sending us to Thailand. I'm going. A lot of it scares, scares the wits out of me, but I'm going. And then we're coming back here, and we're going to go up the coast of Queensland, and we're going to call my friends. We're going to call Australians my age from their comfy churches, from wherever, whatever they're doing, and we're going to give them the chance. We're going to give them the passion, the fire to go as well. Well, the School of Music and Missions concerts were awesome and I'm really stoked to see how God will use them while they're on outreach. But now we're going to catch up with the January DTS. Hi, I'm Rachel Smith. Um, I'm on the January DTS. Oh, wait. Um, we just got back from camping and we did two weeks of it and it was so much fun. Um, it was a time of like bonding with everyone. We had been together for five weeks and it was even closer after that. And we had times of battle buddies and really getting to know um, the spiritual gifts that we each have and bring to our team. And uh, it was just really cool and encouraging. And we had nights of catchphrase and uh, take two and Milo all the time. But um, it was just really, really fun and it was a good bonding experience with all of us. If you are interested in doing a DTS, we have our April school running in just a few weeks. You can check out our website, www.reefsitoutback.com, for more information. Now we're going to catch up with Justin. You know, we've had some exciting things happening at U Street Live on our Saturday nights. Uh, we've got a Voice in the Dark coming up, which is an exciting concert uh, that we do. We run it. Um, this will be our third one. It's all geared towards raising awareness of social justice issues. Last November, we funds and awareness for uh, the Tamar Center in Pattaya, Thailand, who works with the prostitution there. We also raised awareness back um, earlier in the year uh, in about Papua. And, uh, 
primary health care school. They went over, and then again, this year we're raising awareness for um, the prostitution in Thailand. So we're really excited about it. We get a bunch of bands in, do a big concert, and, uh, and we have a lot, of, a lot of fun with it all, and the kids get really excited about doing something bigger than themselves. So it's a part of U Street Live, everything that we're doing there. It's been fun. We've been having, you know, um, U Street, um, our backstage idol, where they come and, and uh, perform and do it like, a little bit like American or Australian Idol. Uh, we have also been running media nights where we show like YouTube clips and show them the power of media, the influence that media has, and get them excited for all that sort of stuff. So a voice in the dark just ties in with that and uh, really encourages these kids. So we love having them uh, come and be a part of it. And uh, with that, with the voice in the dark happening, we've actually the uh, the local radio station here, Live FM. Uh, they've agreed to air stories from the Voiceless Prayer Booklet. So every uh, every day stories being put on about issues, injustice issues in the world, and um, highlighting what's happening in the world around us. So it's more than just us as a base doing it for the youth. It's actually becoming a community type of event. So we're really excited. We have two bands from the from the community coming in to play with us, as well as our School of, Mu of Music and Missions band is going to be performing. So we're really excited about what uh, what could happen out of it. So in your prayers. Thanks, Justin. We're now going to catch up with the October DTS and IPHC that just graduated. When I first applied for IPHC, I thought I was going to be learning about how to put on a bandage, uh, how to treat and prevent diseases, how to diagnose people, things like that, medical stuff. And I did learn all about that, but I learned so much more than that. Every part of this school has been about God and God's heart for the people, God's heart for the poor, for the needy, for the lost. And over outreach, I just saw that so many times that it doesn't really matter what we do physically for these guys. Yeah, we can relieve their pain or put on a bandage, but that doesn't make a difference. It's all about sharing Jesus with them. It's all about their hearts and what we can do to, to bring freedom into their lives. And God just taught me so much about that and that every single time I have the opportunity to share Jesus with one of these sick people that I'm treating in a clinic, that it um, maybe that's the only time they're gonna hear the gospel because we go to remote villages in the jungles, we go out into places that most people um, never get to go because healthcare opens up so many doors to go into new places and discover new things and pioneer new things and just explore. And I just love every minute of it. And I love the things God taught me. He's challenged me so much in my character through all this, just being able to, to see these people and to see um, all these things that just if physically that they struggle with and emotionally and spiritually that they struggle with and to see them have freedom from that in Christ because God wants them to have freedom and it's been incredible to see that. So uh, I'm Jimmy and I did the October Jimmy DTS and uh, it was just an awesome experience for me. I remember um, I just graduated uh, high school and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I think uh, this DTS was just an awesome thing for, for me to get started on, you know, this next chapter of my life. And I remember just the other night I was reading through my journal at the beginning of DTS and just um, just praying for God to, um, you know, being able to hear God's voice, just certain things, and, and it's just been awesome over DTS and, and through outreach in Indonesia and stuff, just seeing how God's been, been faithful in that and how God's been growing me in that. And it's just, it's been awesome to, to just build relationships with people that are just encouraging you nonstop and, and just growing closer to God that way. If you're interested in doing a DTS, don't forget about our April song. Check out our website for more information. This edition, we wanted to do something new and exciting. And as we talked about the Voice in the Dark concert, we're actually going to be selling CDs to raise uh, finances for Patia. But uh, you get the opportunity to receive a free CD to hear what uh, we're going to be selling. Uh, if you've listened to the audio podcast, you'll know about this competition. But we talked about Media Night at U Street, uh, YouTube clips. You know, we like to see what's going on. So if you send us your favorite uh, YouTube clip, we're going to watch it, and whichever, whichever one we like the most, we're going to send you a free CD from The Voice in the Dark. So give us your favorite YouTube clips. Uh, it's going to be completely subjective about which ones we like, whether it's funny or unique or rare. You know, if it's something that's been seen all over YouTube, we probably won't give you a CD, but hey, it's worth a shot to send it in. Uh, so we want, to, we want to hear from you guys. We'd love to hear what you think about the video podcast or the audio podcast, but uh, more importantly, we just want to, to hear from you guys. Thanks for joining us in this edition of the iNews. Remember, if you would like more more information at our center, you can check out our website www.reaptoutback.com or you can email us at news at reaptoutback.com.